Hello, I just wanted to show you this really cool trick that you can use if you have multiple leak accounts or if you're just tired of typing your password in. What we need is a program that can save macros. I'm going to use that one from Razer. Just beforehand, um, if somebody else gets ex has access to your computer and they know that you're using this to save your passwords, then they can easily just see your password. So if for me, it's not a problem, but if it's a problem for you, then don't use this. So what we're going to do is we want a new macro. So we go into here. I've named it leak account and we don't want any delay. So we say no delay and then we record. Now leak, if you start a leak client, use the leak, the leak client will always tap into the password tab. So with that knowledge, stop. I'm gonna delete that. We can use the macro to go one box up with shift and tap. So we are now in the username tab. Then we are going to press SDRG or command and A. So the username gets selected and then uh, delete or backspace, it doesn't matter. Then we're going to type our username. I'm just going to type username and then tap. So we landed the password tab. Then we type our password and then we are going to press enter. That's it. It's that easy. And now we have to bind that to a macro. So I'm going to use the numpad because I don't use my numpad. But if you have a stream deck or extra keys on the side of your keyboard, you can also use them. So we select the macro feature. Then I already got for other accounts my macro saved on the other keys. But this one is for leak account. So the numpad 8 is now my leak account password and thing. Now we're going to restart the leak client because I want to show you that it actually works like that. Oops. I hope we're going to leak account starts today. There it is. And I'm going to press numpad eight. And as you saw, it tapped one up, then typed in the username and tapped one below and typed the password and the account doesn't exist or maybe it does exist, but I don't have the password. So it tried to lock us in, but it didn't work. But I can show you that it does work. If I just take one of my macros, this one, it instantly locked me in and it's really convenient because I have like four different accounts and yeah, it would be pretty annoying to like if I lock off of one account and then try to lock in to another. My Some of my passwords are really long. So yeah, if you only want to save your password, you can just skip the part with the shift and tap and typing near the, you can just instantly um, type your password in and press enter and yeah, that also works. So if you find that useful, share it with your friends. If you don't, why did you click on the video? Bye-bye.